What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I am your host, Justin Turneau, with my co-host, Brian Limper, and we are back with some Queendom action. I was super hyped for this episode. We are back with Queendom. We're in the middle of it. We're in the thick of it right now, That's true. Actually. We had to get the beginning of this episode out of the way. This is, uh, this is different than we've done the other ones so far. So this is going to be us coming to you in the past 30 minutes from now. Yep, exactly. There's a little This is a little two-parter. Actually, it's not magic of editing episode. Just wait, it's going to be amazing. You guys get your minds blown. Yep. And my voice kind of came back a little bit after a week off. Exactly. Oh, before we do that, Justin got me some presents. I was at H Mart. For once he's the one that went to H Mart. I was the one that was able to go uh was up there for work and I wasn't too far, so I was like I might as well go say hi to Korean dad or mom. It was dad. Got some dinner there. It was super good. Shout out and, to the Fancy Pencil. You're the goats. And I got uh, an album and a poster from Fancy Pencil. I'm excited to see what that says. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be anything. I saw it and it was like very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah. they must have just got these in. They weren't he, here last time. It was the only one and he told me about 26 times that it's very, very rare. So everybody take that as you want, as you this will. This is an exclusive they're a Christmas tree. Cherry Wish, Christmas tree, they're, cherry they're bullet poster. Like, I was like, Dude, that's right. it was the only one. It was the only one. When they're all stacked together, it doesn't look like there's that many of them. He, uh, I know. But there really is. He told me so many times. He's like, oh super, gosh. it's so rare, it's so rare. I was like, I. that's why I'm buying it. Last time I was there, I actually looked for uh, some cherry bullet stuff so I could put it on my... Wall because we were super into Cherry Bullet. I never find anything Cherry Bullet there, so I'm glad you found something. That was the only one. They Dude, didn't have any thanks. albums, but they had the the poster. Thanks. And it was like a really cool one too. I can't wait to see what this is. Album is. Could be anything. Even a boat. Dude. Oh my gosh, this is what I really. We also need. got our uh, free More journals. free notebooks that we get all the time. I seriously have so many of these. Yeah, I know they're nice. Dude, they have you got pens. a pen? He gave us a high quality, high warranty, or has a warranty. I think he said. I don't know. It's a pen. Dude. Mikey the Cat, he's cool, calm, and collected. Look at this dude. I wish I was Mikey the Cat. Dude, same. It's legit. All right. A pen. Album unveiling time. What is it? It is? Yes! <laughs> they had it! It was the only one. Dude, let's freaking go. Only one there. In, oh, and it's I a told you, we don't have. I told you they did not have many albums. And they did think, have this. I think his shipping... His shipping guy well. He up. said he was going to get 800 the next day, so that's a lot. Quite a few hey, albums. I do know for anything, it's that he does have a lot of albums. Because one time we were there looking for a CLC album, and it was a Korean mom called Korean dad's like, hey, I remember it was the other way around. They're like, hey, we need this for the boys. I remember that. And they came from their house with the album he so we could buy it, it. From his house, like with his winter jacket on, running it in. But yes, they had First Impact by Kepler. Dude, let's see it. This one's for the channel. The only one. I swear it was like that, and then a bunch of albums that were like no other new ones. It was like all older ones. That Here's I'd... the real question. Is this going to be the exact same color? Or it's not the same color. Oh, my gosh. Is it going to be the same pictures as the other one? Let's I don't see. know. I would hope not. I don't really remember what the pictures were. I don't either. I can definitely they... tell the background's different. I think that they're different. But th This one looks a little more serious. Oh, they're very cool. I don't honestly remember. I don't either, but those are good picks. I mean, Ooh. I could go get the other one. If also, I uh... I just love Wada Da. It's such a good song. That is what I'm talking about. What is that bottom one? That's not fair. I think these are different pictures. Oh boy, I just want to know what the photo card is. Actually, I think they are. They've got to be different pictures. Yeah. So I don't... Ooh, the front's cool because it's like foiled out. Ooh. Such a cool look. All right. Great album. Time to get to what the fans really Here want to we, see. What photo card did you get? It could <gasps> be. I got a big Eugen. Postcard Eugen. Yuck. Let's go. And another Mashiro. Oh my gosh. Or not Mashiro. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't you open two yes I got two yes Dude, Not the that double one. Whoa. That's cool. Those stickers are dope. They got these cool little graffiti. Why is Wanning Bahie the only one who always has her whole name on everything? Wanning Bahie. Is it, what's her first name? Bahie. Bahie. Okay. I just. I was confused, honestly. Although we did not get the exclusive. So this must not have been a pre-order. The exclusive baby. I will take that young card. That's sweet. Baby in her leather jacket. Look at you, Jen, just being 25. Man, this CD's dope. It's like... That's really cool. Foily galaxy looking. I just want more Kepler albums. Dude, thanks. This is sick. <laughs> no problem, with man. Other Kepler albums. Hopefully... After the show's over, we'll have to see if it's the same pictures as the other one. I don't remember. Well... Oh! We are... 
I lied. I got it right here. Okay, <laughs> let's check. All right. Time I'm going to take dip over I'll here. Get a sleeve on that bad boy later. Here we go. Oh, they are different. It's different. Let's yeah. go. Oh, there my. we go. Yeah, these are definitely different. Yep. I honestly couldn't remember. I couldn't either. So that Sick. means we need the other one. The yeah, flat. so that means there's one other one. Wait, that one's purple. Was it pink? I don't know. There's purple, like yellow. I don't even remember. Is this yellow? It's orange, like gold, yellow, orange, orange, something. All right. We'll have to get the other one. Well... Hopefully, in his 800 supply coming in, they'll be there in about a month when I'll we're back out there. I'll have to text him and be so like, yo. Save two Kepler ones. I just want to keep... Oh, I just want to get more Kepler photo cards from the albums. Man, that's sick. I haven't got anything in a while, so that's nice. By a while, I mean the last time that we was, told you uh, got these yeah. Kepler albums. I mean, we're going to be there in a month, and if there's a Kepler <laughs> album, I'm buying it. So, that's like the only album. That was the one, because I was like, hey, I'm going. You want anything? And you're like, yeah, like Kepler one, maybe the Idol one. And I was like, yeah, dude, definitely. I was like, gonna, I was looking for Kepler. And I really it. thought I just wanted. You'd be asking too much to find a nature album out in the wild. I did not see one. It was all. I don't know if those exist. It was like Kepler, and then all ones that I swear have been there for like years. Yeah. Like some of the like older Big Bang ones that just kind of hang out, and probably like kind of black pink ones from like a few years ago. Do you always have like some random like oh my girl ones there too? Yeah. They just had. I. It was actually crazy because they just like <clears throat> did not. I hadn't been there in a while, so. I didn't really notice, but they just did not have just shipping, I guess. Hmm. Like, a lot of albums were gone, which is good because that means people are buying them. But he said 800, so. That's quite a lot. He said they're <laughs> they're coming the next day. I was like, well, I'm just glad. Also, you sorry about my coughing. Even though my voice is getting better, I still got the old tickle in the it's throat. Just the, it's just the the, rema- the ending part of the whatever you had. When I talk too much, it really just. The laryngitis, is that yeah, right? I don't, I don't even know. remember. I'm hyped about this. But. Thanks, that was awesome. No problem. Hopefully we'll, start, hopefully we'll get more. <laughs> good way to start the episode. Okay. Um, oh, also, side note, for anybody who's listening to this, still, uh, we got our tickets, and by a happy accident, out of my own wallet, we'll call that the uh, the, the the company funds. <laughs> yeah, we're seriously. We're going to be going to KCON Chicago we are in going- both... Friday and Saturday. We're going to the full shows. The full Monty. On uh, the KCON, whatever it's called. It has like a different, but it's, it's like KCON. It's like Premier or something. Premier, like yeah, something, whatever. But yeah, we'll be there in Chicago both days. Bro, 206. 206. Or I guess 206, balcony. Um, like right up in front of the balcony. Yeah, we're going to be hanging out We wanted days. to save all the good tickets for all the people who are really big fans of B2B. Yep. And Stacy, you know, and we don't want to take the fun from everybody. We knew that Peniel's family is going to be there. So, so we had to, like, uh, save the good spots for them. But I'm I'm actually, uh, you know, you weren't sure what to do with those tickets, but then you're like, do you just want to use them? And I was like, yeah, man, if that's what you want. And I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm pretty hyped. That's Might like, as well. Like, that's going to be fun. It gives us a chance to just see more groups and, like you said. Meet more people. Yeah, exactly. They're going to be doing a lot of fun things. It's going to be fun no matter what. Maybe so. we'll just record an episode after we go to the first one and after we go to the second we one. We can. Yeah, absolutely. KCON um, 1 and 2. About our experience we, all the people we met. Well, it'll pro... Uh, girls... Not Girls Dude, planet. we can Is record it gonna be our done? Fir- Dude, we can record our first ever uh, on the road episode for this well, season. We have to. On the we, way home. We technically... Yeah, we do. We can so if do we that. get in a life-altering car crash, you guys will hear it live. Oh, man. Man, the one time we like didn't do that. I know that would be crazy. We smoked man. a deer. That would have been the craziest thing ever. Oh my gosh, that would have been sick. Because we, it like what the? It's crazy because the this the computer whatever would have been fine. Oh yeah, it would have been totally fine. So you would have hear, heard all the crash, all the fun. We would have really man. Now I'm just like, because we did it the last few times. We just didn't do it this time, and. Of course. I know. Because all the excitement happened. So we'll have to record another episode. I was actually thinking about that today. So we'll have it. Uh, How we don't have any, like, <coughs> on the road episodes, but we can do one for that. Yeah, we'll have a. It's like in a month. We'll have. Yeah, it's like exactly a month away, which is awesome. We'll have a sweet hotel room recording. After Maybe we'll the bring first our special one. guest on. Maybe, Maybe we can have some guests if they act w- good, and then we'll do one on the way home or whenever. So we definitely got to get all the our experience about KCON out there. Will this be done? I don't know when this ends. I Six like weeks. It's going to be darn close. Well, they're... No, because they're going to be at the their KCON. Yeah, so... And we're wondering if they'd be at these, these but the show's still going on, then, so it's not going to be over yet. Okay, so... Oh, man, so we're going to have KCON and Queen... Or 
KCON and Queendom in one night. Hey, it's perfect. He gets over to a certain time. Just go home to the we're gonna or go, go to the hotel room and watch it afterwards. Watch it afterward, and then we'll have a big old deluxe. Which episode. is funny because it's probably going to get over like ten o'clock, so we're going to start at the same time we always do. That's just life finds a way. So that episode is going to be fun. It's going to be lit. We're going to have a lot going on. Um, but yeah, so KCON Chicago. If you're going, let us know because we will be there. We'll be there both days. So yay and mix. There is that. Um, what else are we going to talk about? There's something else. I, oh. I feel like at this point, everyone just listens to the episodes to get to the part where we talk about the actual show, but we just ramble on about random stuff. We have important, we had important stuff today. But this is even more important. I thought about this the other day, right? What? Because I got that, I got one of those blizzards from a Dairy Queen. Queen. Uh, they don't sponsor us. I wish they did. Man, that'd be the best. God, that'd be sick. But uh, I got the dirt cup one. I don't know if yeah. you guys know what dirt cups are, because apparently some people I work with don't. When you're a kid, you had like chocolate pudding, and then there's like Oreos on it. It's like the dirt soil. They had like little gummy worms on it. It was like the worms coming out of the thing. Anyways. Yeah. They got that now. Dairy Queen is a blizzard. It's delicious because they have the little tiny gummy worms. Mm-hmm. Right? But in the picture online, it's like chocolate ice cream, right? Like that's what it looks like. It's chocolate ice cream. Yeah. When you get it though, it's not chocolate ice cream. Okay? And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. So I was reading about it. It was like our famous soft serve mixed together fudge. Cookies, gummy worms, whatever. You know what got me thinking? Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just stupid. I might be stupid. I think Dairy Queen only has one flavor, and it's vanilla, and they just mix stuff into it to make it different flavors. Yeah, I, I you know, I'm not going to disagree. I don't know. But Have you ever thought about that? I, no, but I, actually, you know what? I've had blizzards before that I've gotten chocolate ice cream. And it's like a weird, it's kind of like, like a, a light it's like a vanilla mi- mix. You can see like white... Yeah, lines in it like it's not. Ne- yeah. You're right. I think they only I think have. You're right. They said they're famous soft serve vanilla ice cream. Like, that doesn't make any sense. The pictures look clearly chocolate. Like I mean, like chocolate, chocolate. I think it is their mix. But that. when they do it, they mix like whatever flavor you want yeah. along with all this stuff, and that's what makes the ice cream different colors. But I think they only have their vanilla soft serve, and they mix it with other stuff. I think you're right. It's not like going to Steak and Chick where they have chocolate ice cream. Yeah, they're not like scooping or it like, out of a thing. Or like, like Culver's Stone, where you where like they have just it. Plop the chocolate on there, like a, from. A like honey. I said, I might just be slow or stupid. Or no, something, I. But I've never thought about it. It blew my mind the other day. I think they only have one flavor. I've and always, I think it's vanilla. I've always wondered. I've I've noticed that before getting chocolate one chocolate blizzards there is that it's like a mix of white and chocolate and i never really thought about it i was thinking about it i'm like man i'm gonna ask him for the because look at this this is clearly chocolate ice cream that's not vanilla ice cream you're correct like, look at this. that's a png yeah it's chocolate ice cream that is you're right it's a png i just need to use that for something yeah but like there's any vanilla in this at all i don't see any exactly and i was reading about it and said our famous vanilla soft serve and i was like you know i'll just ask for chocolate next time i go yeah then sure but then i was thinking about it and i'm like so what every if- flavor i've ever gotten from there I'm pretty sure they just mixed it with vanilla. So, so my question is, it looked like that, but it literally was just all white. No, it wasn't white. It was kind of like a light brown. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Because okay. they mixed like yeah, fudge yeah, yeah, syrup yeah, in yeah, it and yeah, stuff yeah. and mixed it together. I thought you meant like it was literally like white ice cream and the chocolate. No, it's kind of like this. Like they mixed it. Yeah. Okay. To get no, whatever I, flavor. You know, it was. I think you're right. Honestly. Because think I'm trying to go right now. To, I know everyone doesn't care about this, but think about like all the different flavors they have here. Yeah, they just put a different thing in. They it. just put a different syrup in it. Like oh. this, they just put cherry syrup. They put the cotton candy, yeah, yeah, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at this. This is clear would be chocolate compared to the other ones. Yeah, it's not mint. It's not at all. Like, it was like this. Like, that's like Whoa. not what mine looked like at all. Mine's like lighter than this. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it just they just on have the one much. flavor, yeah. and then they put the syrup they in just it. throw some syrup. Mix it together, and that's how you get your flavor in your cup. No, you're right. You're right. That's weird. Never thought about it. But that makes, like... A lot more sense, actually, because it tastes good. <laughs> like, it's like, why bother making all the different flavors when you are getting the flavors like you just gen- make them? It's genius. It's kind of like when you get like, uh, I was talking to my dad the other day. I know we're like rambling on about stupid stuff right now, but we were, I was talking to my dad the other day about how the easiest job ever is like those pasta salad kits that I buy, like yeah. the do-it-yourself ones. First off, inflation's crazy. Those used to be like a dollar, like two eighty-six a box now. Really? Yeah. Mm. So, but I'm like, I bought three of them because there's three different flavors I wanted to try. Yeah. All it was is the exact same freaking noodles with a different seasoning packet in it. You know how much it probably cost them to make a seasoning packet? Like three cents, right? Yeah. So say you even spent a dollar on all of them. I spent three bucks buying three of them when I could have bought one if they were all the same flavor. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, well, why do I need three? They're all the same. Yeah. But because of that, I like tripled their profits by buying three different ones because 
they're different flavors. It costs like nothing to make a different flavor. Yeah. Same thing like potato chips. Yeah. That's how they get you. That's like the craziest thing ever. Like ramen noodles. Yeah. It's just the same. It's just the same, same noodles. Thing. Yeah. It's just a different flavor packet they put in there. Yup, pretty much. That's crazy, Essentially dude. Essentially, what the ice cream was too. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Never thought about it, but it, you're right. That's that's how they do their ice cream. I mean, I love Dairy Queen. I do so too. It's good. They definitely do the right thing. But. Also, anytime everyone's ever done the upside down cup thing, there's been a lid on it. So I'm not sure why they do it, <laughs> but they still do it. A for effort. I appreciate the effort. Yeah. Always wanted to kind of fall one time. And then just like spike it down and be like, did it work? <laughs> I know. It's just like on the ground. I don't know. I thought about that. It blew my mind. I was like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Yeah, that is true. No, I know what you mean though because I've, I've, no, I've, I like, I remember noticing it and stuff before, but never really thinking about it. I'm like, I was like, why is this like white? It was like not mixed all the way. And so it was like streaks of white in the chocolate. I'm like, how'd they do that? But then I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to eat it. And it was good. So, but that makes sense. We know your secret's not Dairy Queen. Now you have to sponsor us. I know. <coughs> but anyways, that concludes my uh, random thoughts for the day, except for the fact that it's very hot in my house right now. It is warm. And I'm also warm because of these performances. Dude, okay. So, okay. So, anybody who's still listening to this, this is the important stuff. I'm going to pull like a disclaimer. Like, skip to like 1630 if you don't want to. If you don't want to have fun. I know. If you don't want to know the Dairy, if you don't want to know the Dairy Queen secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> don't skip ahead I know alright skip ahead so at this point in time we have not finished the episode nope also my voice keeps cracking do you need some water <laughs> it's just when I talk on my it's like your epiglottis <laughs> my epiglottis where's no, the breath it's, it's weird because I was telling someone the other day I sound like I can't like walk farther than like five feet and not need like a yeah uh, an air breather like thing smoking every day cause it's like it's weird, like, I get winded, and my foot throat gets dry, and I cough, but it's like, I don't know. Anyways, so, episode four, we saw the other three performances, which we'll talk about later in the episode, um, but we just wanted to get on record right now, before we see what the actual ranking is, because we want to see how close we are to the actual people voting. Yeah, they are just, literally, we can see on the screen right now, pause, the, pe- the fans voting with the little clicker things. Uh, in episode two for the second round of performances. Because we didn't so, do this yeah. for the first one. No, we're so, going to do it we're, now. Like I said, we're coming to you in the past. We're going to tell you what we think the voting should be, what they should be ranked. And then once we continue our episode after this, we'll, we'll inform you of what happened in the episode, what the actual rankings are. And what, what they turn out to be here in a second. Because, um, I mean, anybody can be like, yo, this is what I thought it was after it already happened. And it's like the same. Like, yeah, we're not those guys. So, But we came to consensus. It's also kind of weird to put them in the ranking. You haven't talked about what happened in the things yet. Anyways. One, Highland. Yep. Hands down. Yeah. Number one. Was, uh, no doubt. Like, I thought this was supposed to be a contest, like a, a competition. I thought that's what the show was. But I, I'm pretty sure the definition of a competition is there has to be, like, a challenge or an opponent. So far, it's just her versus there was, herself. There was like, moments in her performance, not to give away too much, that I kind of felt bad for everyone else. Like, just it's not like, fair. Like, them watching her, I'm like, this must be hard for them. Because it's, like, a level that you just, like... You're like watching LeBron, and you're like, I'm just never going to be that. I don't think you guys like, have ever seen the uh, old school Vine clip. Shout out to all you old people watch Vine. Vine of so Gucci Goo Wop. Yeah. Dunking on the fifth graders. That's what this was. Like, it's just like, no, it's just like, oh, no matter what you do, how hard you try, you cannot be this. And then. Which is probably a little dramatic, but I did feel bad for people. I know. That's how good she was. Number two, we talked about last week. And we think that's going to be Luna because that stage was. Sick. Oh, I, I love that. Like that one of my one, favorites. I heard nothing but like good it's stuff. It's so about crazy it. that Highland to me like top that because that stage I was like, man, that was like one of my favorite stages on these type or shows that we've watched. Like I loved it so much. Like that stage was sick. But um, now the next like three, you, I guess you could kind of like flip flop if you wanted to. But three, we went Brave Girls. Personally, I thought I, it was sick. I, I, I yeah, I definitely think they were third. Four, we have Veebs. I um, definitely think they're fourth. I really like their performance, too. I was a little let down. They didn't throw in the Bad Bunny with the uh, we didn't Cardi know, B. Yeah. But we can, I don't know. We can talk more about it in the episode. Because I had, like, thoughts kind of on everyone's stage. Yeah, we'll talk about it when we actually do the episode. Yeah, when we actually do it. <laughs> Fives, WJSN. WJSN. I don't know why I just said that. That's so weird. Um, and then, sorry, Kepler, you're six. That was... That was probably the the easiest choice of everyone was they were last. And you know we love them, so. Um, but yeah, so 
pre-watching the final rankings. <coughs> That's our rankings. One, Highland. Two, Luna. Three, Brave Girls. Four, Veeves. Five, WJs. And six, Kepler. Yep. Okay, so we're back. Back, back. Because we actually recorded this the night we did our um, original rankings. And my computer messed it up and we didn't get any of it. So now we're re-recording this as a review of the last three performances in the episode we just watched. Which was episode four? Episode four. Right? I think so. I think it was two. So, I was telling Justin that it's actually good because of that time. Because normally when we record stuff, it's like right after we watch it. So we don't really have time to digest it too much or think about it. Yeah, you just have that instant You just let emotion take over. Right. But I've had time to sit and think about it. I've watched some other stuff. I actually listened to the recorded versions of the songs Mm -hmm. that you can get on Spotify and stuff and rewatch some of the videos, you know, to, you know, just take it all in. Yeah. And to be honest with you, my opinion hasn't changed on it. Yeah. Um, If anything, I've got a little more stuff and more critiques to say on it. Yeah, mine really hasn't changed either just from uh, when we kind of watched it last and recorded last time, so... But before we get into it, we had two drinks we tried on the last episode that no one's ever going to know about because they... Let me tell you, that's a good thing. Maybe that's why the record... The record yeah, the, I don't even blame it. Maybe that's why the recording got thrown out oh. on us, which is terrible. Oh, so, not good. So we have something to drink while we're talking about this. I found this Tetris Blast G Fuel. Did that, we... The other one was a G Fuel too, and it wasn't very good. Oh, it was not. That Spider Man one was not. This actually smells kind of just like a good fruit punch. It's clear. What did you say the other one s- smelled like? Like paint thinner? It was like paint thinner. He wasn't right. Or like, I don't know. It smelled like chemicals. And... All right, so we're going to sip on this before we do this. All right, here we go. Interesting. I think it's, I don't know. It's all. Okay. G Fuel's like hit or miss sometimes. I feel like it's just like super a, flat. Just like a. Kind of like the other one. Uncarbonated fruit punch. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much I... It kind of tastes like the other one where it's just like very underwhelming. Yeah, it's not the greatest. I did have one today called Wumba Fruit. That was weird. Wasn't a fan of that. I don't know if I really like this one that much either. Maybe I just don't like G Fuel then. That could be it. They definitely have like a more watered down taste to them. Yeah, and I don't like that. I don't like that. So... So, This one's better than the last one though that they will never know about because, you know... Yeah. It was horrible. We're not going to talk about that. Um, We'll leave that in the past. It was horrible. But... For those of you listening to this... Oh... you Did may we? or may not have listened to the last episode. I don't know. But this is the second part of it. Because so far it looks like the performances they do are split up. And it's like groups go in one episode, then groups go in yeah. another one. We had the rest of the cover uh, performances. The cover performances today. Or a few days and ago. And for those who don't remember, last time on episode three, it was W. Disney cover novella. Luna did Shake It. And Brave Girls did Mask. So this week we have Veeves, Kepler, and Highland. So the episode started out... And Veeves was the first group to go. Yeah, got right into it. And I told Justin before we watched it, I saw one spoiler on Reddit, because, you know, that's where I spend all my time. And I didn't see what it was that their performance actually was, but I saw what the song was that they did. And I was super excited about it, because it was the one that I wanted them to do, and I needed them to do. And I knew what their outfits were going to be. It was like this Hispanic... Flamingo dancer, you know, kind of it was really thing going not, on. I really liked their outfits a lot. Oh, yeah, it was great. And the song is Unnatural. I was super hyped. Yep. The two songs we said we wanted them to do was either Catch Me or Unnatural. <laughs> and they did Unnatural, so we, I'll take it. We kind of knew which one would uh, probably be, uh, you know, one was a out, of the, out of those two, we were leaning toward, you know, we think this one might be a and little And one more. was a hope and a prayer. And let's just say we were correct. But I was super excited when it showed the flashback and then like chatting with each other about what song they wanted to do. And uh, Uncio was like, I really think they're going to do I Wish because Cindy loves that song. So I was like, man, yeah. if they do I Wish, I would love that. That'd be yeah, sick. It's like she, one of my top two favorites. She knew it was on Cindy's playlist. WJ so. songs. But they did their unnatural cover. It was very cool. Like I said, it had that like kind of flamingo dancer salsa. I thought they... Uh... They're, kind of vibe too. They made it their own. Yeah, I thought their concept they went for was definitely different than what the original unnatural concept was, but it was really cool. I really liked what they what they did. I liked the outfits. I liked the story they kind of told. They definitely made it into their own unique version of 
uh, unnatural. Uh, the presentation of it was like really good. I really enjoyed it. The one thing I told you that I actually don't think I said because I just like forgot on the the dead episode is that I one thing I wasn't a big fan of was I d- wasn't loving uh, Yuna's voice. Yuna's because it was like high pitch. Because her voice is so high, and even when she was like rehearsing and having some trouble, I was like, "This is really high." And then when she sang it, she obviously like did fine, but. To me, it just seemed like really high for unnatural, and I didn't really. That was something that kind of turned me off to it a little bit. Yeah, I, I like, definitely see that. If I had like one kind of gripe about their performance, it was that. My one gripe was at the beginning they didn't really put in that mix in with Bad Bunny and yeah. Cardi B for. Uh, That'd be cool. They might have got more votes. Because that was like the very beginning of it's exactly what it sounded like. Yeah, but overall, it was a really good performance. I liked it. It was definitely unique. Definitely. Different than the original, so it's definitely something. Yeah, I, honestly, I was just pumped about that. And that's pretty much what everyone did, was they made a different version of what the original was. Which I guess, like, making it your own, and that's definitely what Veeves did. So, that was Veeves. Then it showed Kepler, who chose... Well, I guess they didn't really choose, but... Um, did they choose? They had to have. Chose the song? No, who they were picking as their... Oh, band. Well, I guess... I don't really remember how they got whoever it was. I think it's because of just the last two groups. Left. Yeah. They covered Brave Girls. Yeah, so we have Kepler who covered Brave Girls. Now, if in the lost episode in the Anvils of Time, there's a lot of hatred towards Kepler performing this and the whole thing in general. Now, after I have time to let it sit and listen to it, it's still pretty bad. And let um, me tell you... Let me just say, yeah... Go ahead. We did not know what pool party was before they performed this. Yep. So we looked it up and we watched like Brave Girls perform it. Just like the video. Yeah, because we'd never heard it before. And I am so sorry, Brave Girls, that Kepler butchered this song because it yeah. was beautiful. I was going to say... Pool this, party's a banger. This actually worked out better because, like you said, we had never heard pool party, maybe snippets or like seen a clip from the video, but we never really listened to the so song. So we weren't sure if they did good or so not. So we were like... Okay, not really sure what this originally sounds like because we knew all the groups were doing their own thing with the songs. So we went back afterward, after we recorded that, and we watched the video for Pool Party, and it was fantastic. It was just a super fun, good summer song that we really liked a lot. And honestly, it just made me dislike Kepler's performance that much more. It really made me like it worse. I mean, my my feelings about it have not changed at all. I was like, I've been thinking about it, just like, man, I usually don't just like dislike things when we watch shows like this. There's only a few times I'm like, wow, that was bad. Like, things aren't my favorite, like ballads and stuff. I'm like, oh, they still did fine. This one, I did not like it. And it was like... I disliked this a lot. It was Pool Party, kind of remixed with a chorus with Roland. Now, here's my general thoughts on this. When we first talked about it... A lot wrong here. It just is really awkward. It feels forced. does not feel right. It did yeah. not, like, sit together well. It was not... I don't know. They just didn't belong together. The whole performance was like... Either, what I say is either like slowed down or the timing on it was weird. Yeah. Everything about it was weird. Did not flow right. I was not a fan of it. Felt choppy, like not synchronized or like not like smooth. Um, now, after listening to the actual recorded version of the song that you can listen to on Spotify, still not my favorite, but it didn't sound as like as bad. Because mm-hmm. even though it still does look weird moments, like the wind blowing and like yeah, silence and stuff. In a hundred percent, if they would have just done pool party on its own, or they would have just done rolling on its own, it would have been a hundred percent great. But when they mixed both of them together, it just did not sound yeah. good. It just—it's hard to even say what to do to fix that one because it had so much wrong on it. They should have just even, like if they would have just done one of them, it would have definitely been better. But still, with all the awkwardness and slowness and like weird places, because I completely agree with you. Nothing flowed about that performance, so I don't know if that would still be there, but, like, I definitely thought the mashup didn't work either. Like, when they hit that rolling course with the pool, it was really weird. It it just, like, didn't sound good, it didn't look good, and it just, like, was not executed. And, like, I hate saying all this because I love Kepler pretty much, like, as much or more than any other group on this show, but, like, we're going to be honest, and I'm going to be honest, it was so bad. It was not good. I don't... There's no way another performance on this show is going to be as bad as that. I'm sorry. Like, that was dreadful. And 
It just like it, it like summed it all up at the end too because Diane fell off the stage. It was like okay, like of course that someone's gonna fall off the stage on accident with this because it's like a train wreck. I don't know. It was it was rough. I don't know if they just like tried too hard or what. It was just kind of weird. It was just all awkward. I guess that's like the thing is like. Yeah, I just I don't know. It just wasn't because they like tried to good. tell like a story too, which is what a lot of people did, and it was really cool, and I liked that a lot. But theirs just like was like. She's like Alice in Wonderland, and then Nakaro's getting pulled across the floor, and Shouting's doing flips over beams. I don't know what the heck's going on. Like, there was just a lot going on there. And Hyla threw him a bone, too, by making him go second to last. Yeah. So it'd be one of the more remembered performances of the night at the end of the night. Oh, gosh. Until she came on. Maybe she just, just maybe she hadn't a clue. She was like, hmm, they're probably going to mess this up. So it really lays the easy field for me to come in and stomp on everyone. Yeah, I don't know. That was not good. Kepler definitely, I know they'll do better, but... Definitely a downgrade from the last day. Not, oh, yeah. It really made me appreciate, I will say, good thing is I appreciate the first one more, which was already awesome, but we went back and, like, watched those videos just to kind of, you know, help ourselves come down a little bit from that, but it was, their first stage was awesome. And still my favorite intro video, so... Oh, have, six They have favorite. that. Then we had the queen at number six. Oh, man. Highland, who she was the only person I did not see any spoilers or anything of leading up to it. And uh, she picked Luna. And she's the one that picked first because she had the most points um, Yeah. <coughs> the previous week. So she got to hand pick who she wanted. And she picked Luna. So she clearly had an idea in her head of what she wanted to do. Yeah, because... And the- all options apparently are on the table. So I thought maybe she'd do a solo song. I thought like, she'd maybe do a like so, Singing everyone, in the Rain everyone, or Egoist. Or, people were doing like mashups, so I maybe thought she was going to do like a solo with a group song. I, I mean, I don't know. That's kind of what I was thinking. Or Eclipse. God, if she would have done Eclipse, I would have been also, the best Also, in just the life. same exact fit oh as my Kimba, gosh. Just do the same exact thing. Um, also, we learned, which we think we said it before, but she picked first, picked Luna, and... That was everyone. Everyone like everybody threw, wanted to do. Everyone Luna. threw their draft plan out the window. We're like, we're done because everyone wanted Luna. It's like so. watching the NBA draft and everyone's like oh. the top fourteen. Like, who's gonna go number one? And as soon as they pick him, like, all right, everybody, plan B. All right, what, what what are we gonna do now? Like, what do they know that we don't know? Like, yeah. It's just like, but yeah, um, I didn't know it was Luna has so many songs and so many good ones. It were like we just have no idea what she's gonna pick. <laughs> and her options were, um, paint the town. Which she said she really wanted to do, but they already performed it, they so she wasn't so yeah. High on so that. she's like, we can't really do that a lot. So what? And then um, why not? That's what's called, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so she narrowed it down and she picked so what, which is awesome because that's like we said it before, but that legit was like the song Justin showed me. That made me want to watch Luna stuff and get into Luna more. Like, definitely my favorite Luna song ever. Probably a top 10 all-time favorite K-pop song of mine. I love So What. I listen to it, like, like, like all the time. I always have. I love the video, too. Love everything about So What. Got on their first win, too. So, So What always has a special place in my heart. Just, like, really, like, knowing about Luna. And then I saw that, and I was like, whoa. And then, like, before that, all I knew was Love Cherry Motion. Didn't even know Chori was in Luna. I thought she was Luna because it just said Chori from Luna. Exactly. So I thought that's who it was. And then once you showed me So What, I was like, man, that was sick. So What was just like such a game. Because like I really liked, like I did, I never really heard Butterfly, but I heard Hi Hi. I was like, oh, this is really fun. But then once I heard So What, I was like, okay, now I actually need to like pay attention to these Yeah, and then people. once you showed like, it to me, I just like, wow. fell into the little was, universe thing was, and did the rest of the history. Was, and now I love them. So it was a good choice by her. So she picked So What with a little bit of a chorus. Part to paint the town she like point dance zero break five thing. seconds of paint the town dance break. Yep, which then would fit really well. Her performance started out with her in an aerobic circle hanging from the ceiling, dressed as Catwoman. Yeah, I mean, you just I and mean, like we saw before, like her little training thing was her like learning how to do like aerob. Seems like she picked it something. up pretty quick. <laughs> She's literally She's like spinning in the air, doing all these poses, <laughs> but. That was crazy. I mean, she was literally hanging from the ceiling to start her performance. Then she came down and was like, I'm so bad. Ugh. And it was just like, I got goosebumps. She like stared into the front camera and like that. Yeah, I legit got chills. And I was like, like when she I said, was welcome like, to paradise in the first one. I was just like, well, she won again. And now I just like can't wait to see the rest of this performance. We're then she like sit back and relax. She like snapped off. And there's one point where she does like this big wave part with like her backup mm. dancers. Sickest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. She really... For 40 backup dancers. She really knows how to utilize the backup dancers in, like, the best way. 
And we've said this on the other episodes, and I think we might have said it just before in the first half of this. She is what it means to be a solo artist. Oh my gosh. She's so good. Like, she's so captivating. She, like, even though there's all these backup dancers and all this stuff happening, she knows how to just command the stage and, and like, cannot look away from and her. And this time, you know, sometimes, and even Highland's last one, backup dancers kind of wear, like, something a little more subdued, like, so, like, you don't, you know who's, like, the main performer because they're wearing, like, a crazy outfit. They all wore essentially the same thing. They all just had, like, the leather kind of fit on. But, like, you still knew, like, she was running the show. Like, that is a solo artist. Yeah. It was, it was incredible. I mean, it's crazy because um, we said you see people do solo stuff. And like, yeah, that was a pretty good comeback. You know, like, okay, I didn't know if they'd be a good soloist, but they're all yeah. right. But then you see something like her perform, and you're like, they're not even in the same league as. Them. It was when it was like the same thing as when uh, Jenny first saw Lisa, and she's like, "Well, like, whoa. like God made some people born like, to do this. We're born to do this." Like, like, I had to work so freaking hard to be good at this. Like, some people are just born to do this. That's how I feel. And not that Highland doesn't work hard because we've seen already, like, she works harder than everybody. Oh, she's okay. like the hardest working person. We were talking about show. it after last episode that I'm sure everybody, like, works hard. Like, we watch them. Like, everybody wants to do good. They want to perform and put on their best efforts and stuff. Yeah. But I feel like she just wants it so much more than everybody else. I don't know if it's because maybe she's just a solo artist and she doesn't have the other members with her I, or what it is, but she just seems like she just. Is so dedicated, and nonstop, she, her whole like day life is everything is to, like being this great soloist and like winning this thing and just like getting better each and every day with what she's doing. And like she's got probably the least to prove on this show because she already had a like Hall of Fame career in a group. She even and, said, it and she's even had like a Hall of Fame career as a soloist. She's like, why am I even here? <laughs> she's like, didn't even know why she had to do it at first. But like that doesn't even matter. Like she's literally putting in all this effort, all this energy. I mean, we saw her in the first performance. She's going to, like, this flower shop, buying these, like, big things of grass herself and, like, tying them together on the floor. Like, she she does. She just, like, wants it. She's, I imagine this was just, like, Kobe Bryant when people thought, like, the real Mamba mentality. It was just, like... It really is. Like, literally, everyone else wants to win. We know that. But, like, she just somehow wants it more than that. And it's crazy because all the other contestants watch her. And there's, like... They don't speak. There's, like, jaws yeah. are dropped, like, mesmerized. Uh, and then it's, it's like... So good. The crazy thing is, all the other girls when they show the interviews are like, oh, well, like, you know, what do we do to beat this? Or, like, how can we beat her? Like, this is so good. And after every performance, she's like, oh, now that I did that, I'm just, how am I going to do better than I did last time? And, I mean, she, I am kind of interested to see how. Because, I mean, the first stage was so great. And then this one was so great, too. I'm like, this is, like, such a crazy level Oh, like I, that she's I, performing on. It's like, And I, I told you before, my baseline for these performances, are, are they going to be better than when she did Touch My Body on the first one. Because that's like the best stage oh, I've seen so far. It was so good. So far, she's, none of them have lived up to it. She's except putting on... This is a close second. She's putting on like all-time like um, elimination show type things. I guess this isn't like essential. Like, this is like Jason Tatum but, going off on Kevin Durant But like right this now. is like all-time <laughs> shows and stages that when like in a few years or down the line and be like, man, like some of my favorite performances I've ever seen were like high in on this. Like they're it's so like, good. She deserves every bit of like what she's got so far. It's crazy. It's really crazy. But well, I mean, Chu summed it up. I said, "Yeah, Chu. What did Chu say when she's watching?" She it? said, "Was our song this good?" Like, That's yeah. What, she's like, she's "Was our song even this good?" She's, she's questioning performing. their own song if it was as good as she's performing. She's like, "Was our song this good?" And the other members that, of that Luna, was alone. I was like, "Okay, like." Well, she's like done. the other members of Luna were watching it, like crying, like, "Oh my god, I can't believe this is our song that I, she's doing." I just. I told you before, and I said it, like, I felt bad for everyone else on that show when she, like, literally when that song started, like, when she said, I'm so, I was like, I feel bad for you guys. And when she, like, belts her singing, I was like, I feel bad, because this is, like, a level that no matter how hard you guys try, at least right now, you just can't do it. Like, you cannot beat this. You it's, can't. I don't so, know. It's like, it's like an unreal level. Of it really is. It's how good so impressive. Is. I have nothing but praise for Highland so far, so. Kind of like we said previously. Usually in the competition, that means that there's other contestants that stand a chance of winning against you. Yeah. No. Nope. But she's got my the top two performances so far, and her, and then her. So I like pretty good. I mean, I like Sistar when we, the little bit we knew him. I was never like a huge fan. Like I was like, oh, they're the best group yeah. ever. And I'm like, oh, I got some good songs. I didn't really listen to her solo stuff a ton, except when it came out, I'd like you know listen to some of the songs just because why not? Yeah. Um. But legit, after watching this. 
I was just I'm just like, man, I hope she wins. Like I know, I'm just like a huge fan. Like I just want her to win. Because we got there like not long after they disbanded, so it was like they're done. So I was like, well, you know, look can't look forward to Sistar anymore because they're literally non existent. So and like you said, yeah, they have cool music to listen to sometimes and like they but we never really like got into him into him like we do other groups because they were done. So it's like we're not gonna go back and watch like old reality shows of Sistar when yeah. there's a new groups every single day. But yeah, I'm a huge Highland fan. This like made me a fan of, of her. Like it's she's so good. Um but yeah, so that's the performances. Then we did it. Go check them out. Then they did like our favorite part where they just want to create tension between everybody. Yeah. Where you pick. I guess this is part of the ranking system, actually, like the point system. Yeah, yeah. It's they like have to percent. vote like one group above them performance wise, one group below them performance wise. Right. And I talked to Justin about this. I kind of hate how you don't have to put someone above you, which I think is dumb. Because yeah. much like last week, Highland got the points for this because only one group put her as being above them. Yeah. But because of that, she won because nobody else had one point for him. Yeah, they all just voted for themselves. Because they just voted for themselves. And like you like you should kind of just vote for yourself, even if you do bad, because then it's not allowing anyone else to get a point. That's what so I'm saying. Anything you're just, defense. But like, they always pick someone below them. You could just be like, I don't have any below me either, but they pick somebody. Yeah. So in terms of numbers, obviously if everyone's going down and one person's going up, one person's always going to win despite... Right. Which is stupid. Yeah, no. It's, it should be like it, everyone has to pick should, someone above them. You should have to pick each one. Because at that point, you actually have to think. Because if you just like do a throw-in pick, because yeah, they weren't that great, but we need to pick somebody. Yeah. That can make a huge difference if somebody else picked them. Yeah. And if for some reason, Brave Girls got two of them for some reason. I mean, you know? it, yeah. I mean, it's it goes it's points like it's actual points, and so when it just like eliminates that essentially, when you're like, yeah, we're the, we were the best. Like so now, I mean, if they're a smart, which, I, which like I don't know why. Who, if they're smart, you just don't pick anybody, anybody above you. Who voted this time for... WJSN. I don't know why they did. Just vote for yourself. Because last yourself. week they didn't either. Yeah, it's just like... Because at that point, just you know how it works. Just don't vote for anybody. Especially since last week, everyone was kind of like, oh, yeah. And then I was like, I fully expected everyone this week to not vote for anyone or only vote for themselves. But, I mean, WJSN, you know, was correct in voting for Highland. I totally agreed. But at the same time, you're like... Here's the other thing. Spoiler alert. Even if she didn't win this, it didn't matter. If you would have... Taken away the, like whatever points she got was like a thousand points or something like that. Yeah, you would have taken with a thousand points. She still would have won by three hundred forty thousand points. So I mean, she she's won every possible point, down to the single point in this show. Yeah. So okay, so the voting wise, it went WJ Sin. They voted for Highland to be above her or them, which they should have. Yeah. And below them, they voted for uh, Luna, which I didn't really agree with. Well, I didn't because the Luna performance is amazing. I don't know. One of what, the top three performances in my mind. What they're, I don't know what WJ said was thinking there. Let's just trying to like start trouble. I was honestly thinking that just because like, I didn't make any sense to me. And then I mean, sure, they get to pick like someone else to be. Then, you know what I mean? It's like, like sure, you pick them below, whatever. But then actually, like your performance is like there's nothing that was memorable to me. I'm like, what are you talking about? I, if Highland wasn't such a juggernaut, that would be my favorite performance. Yeah. I thought Luna's was incredible. I thought, so, I'm I mean, not sure what they were talking about. I have about. nothing bad to say about Luna's performance. It's just Highland was just better. Um, oh. But, yeah, I wasn't sure either. I'm not sure what XC meant by that. Or maybe she's just trying to have some good TV drama. I'm not sure. But Then Luna picked, and they picked... Oh, well, okay, I'm just going to say now, we said it a minute ago, no one picked anybody else above them. So, I'm not going to say it every time, because it's kind of redundant. Yeah, no need. Going to cut out that extra minute and 30 seconds from yeah. the episode. So, Luna picked um, Kepler below them. Which everybody should have picked Kepler below them. Honestly. I mean, they should have. Just they should have. The fact Kepler only got one group that picked them below them makes me question everything. I about just the have, show. I just have no idea what this like. What they're even? Yeah, I'll have some more too if you were to get a little more. I I don't know what the heck they're even looking at. I'm like, what? I don't know. Because I mean, if I was every group, if I was writing the votes, I would have picked every single person. To vote for Kepler. I, I, I'm I, sorry, Kepler. I love you. Everybody that listens knows we love we're gonna Kepler. We're going to be honest. I, I don't we're know. We're going to be just... honest here. We're not going to just be like, oh, yeah, they were pretty good. No, they were not good. They were bad. It was not good. It didn't um, sound good. I don't know. But apparently, we are not the groups there, so they saw something else. Yeah, I do not understand it. And then Kepler picked their group that was below them. And surprise, surprise, they picked... WJSN. And the reason was, 
I don't honestly remember, but I know that XC was saying they're probably going to pick us because we picked them last year. Yeah, week. I was going to say, at least like that made a little like, okay, you're like, maybe that's stupid, but at the same time, it made somewhat of sense. An like, eye for an eye. Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, well, they picked them last week, they picked them, sure. And then Brave Girls picked, and Brave Girls also picked WJSN, which, honestly, I can't argue with that. I mean, I definitely thought... Brave Girls could have picked a lot of groups below them, honestly. This a lot of them. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I didn't really disagree with it either. It wouldn't have been my exact pick because we all know what that would have been. But I didn't agree. I did agree with Brave Girls that WJSN was technically below them. So, And then after that, the final groups have picked were Veeve and Highland. And they both just laid the hammer down on Brave Girls for whatever reason. I don't I, understand that. I felt bad. I just... The reason just never makes sense to me. Because I get... Like, if you're going to pick somebody... Give a reason, like, okay, you hate them, or okay, your choreo was terrible, instead of, like, I felt threatened by how good you were, so I needed to vote down you, like, or downvote you. I, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I just didn't know why people were voting for Brave Girls. I just, it was another one, I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with this. I, I want something either. to be wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want something I to be wrong, reason. or, like, from their expert artist opinion. And I don't want, which, you know, I get it, we can't just, like, lay into people... But the first episode, and they're starting to get away from this, which so far is good. The first episode, they were just like, you're so hard. Like, you know, they'd vote down, but then they'd have the nicest things to say. I don't want any of that. Like, I, I want, want actual, actual reasons of, like, which XE, if that's what she's going for, she's doing a great job. But, like, I just want something to actually be like, we thought your dancing wasn't good, or we thought this wasn't good. Or, that's why I didn't know, I was like... If everyone would have voted for Kepler, I would have been like, yeah, okay, like, your song well, didn't like, flow. Like, Brave Girls picked WJSN, and the reason was... That was, like, the only one I agreed with. And, like, it, and they were just like, you, like, went first, and that's just... I didn't remember it as much. Yeah. <laughs> Which must be the right curse, because... Um, Veeves went first last week, and they got three down votes. They got zero this week. Yeah, they, uh, they, they just had a nice, chill week of, you're not gonna get real better but not worse in a way like you're just they, you knew they were safe but yeah I, I don't know um, we definitely saw more like butting heads in a way and like tension in this episode so yeah that's I how. hope it continues it's entertaining and it if it can kind of stem to them wanting to perform better I think that's good it was like okay well this group doesn't think we're memorable let's go show them that we're memorable like exactly like let's um, actually do, like step it up so Highland got the points for that yeah then there was fan voting and that's like, I don't really know if they got to be international fans. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is. They like showed them on the screen and stuff. I was like, who are you people? Um, but they like did their voting. And essentially it went like Highland, uh, Luna, WJSN, Beeves, Kepler, like Brave Girls. I don't remember the exact one, but it was pretty much like, order that it finished. I think that's what it was, right? I think yeah. WJSN was third, right? I think yeah. they were. Yeah. And then like. At the end, when you did the votes, that's like essentially like the whole how the lineup worked out. Highland was number one because she's just dominating everybody. Got all the points from the people inside fans in the arena, the outside fans, and the actual and, groups in the competition. Yeah, and outside of the world, the country. <laughs> so she got the triple crown. She's again. doing pretty good. Unstoppable. Number two was Luna, which I'm not super shocked about because one, the performance was really good. And uh, they have a lot of international fans, so that's not I, too surprising. I thought that was a total deserving, they totally deserved that spot for sure. And we said before this even started, once since Luna obviously couldn't partake in it last week because he was sick, Yeah, that I wouldn't be surprised when they started that they're a big wild card, and I wouldn't be surprised if they finished top two every week or they finished in the bottom two every week, you yeah. know? You just don't know. I mean, they and have right now they're looking pretty strong. You're, you're so. absolutely right. I mean, wild card is they got sick, COVID, last place. Now they're second. Or they got second. For all we know, they <laughs> could have done a different rendition of Paint the Town or something on the first stage and won the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't know because they didn't get to do anything that was actually official. So, And then three was WJSN, which I was kind of shocked about. A little surprised. They though. must really be pulling in a lot of fan votes because I don't know about that one. I was surprised about I just that. think I just think they, they can do a lot better. I think WJSN can do a lot. Like, was their performance bad? No. It, it's one of those things where... I think they're too safe. They need to do something crazy. They I, need to do something out of the box. I don't like being like negative about, but like I just don't think they 
Yeah, I don't think they really went for it. I think They're not they bringing that rookie were, energy like Jackson would want to see. Yeah, they kind of just were out there, and they put together, like, a pretty solid performance. And, I mean, I kind of agree with like, what some people said. Like, there, I don't feel like there was anything <clears> really <throat> memorable from that. Like, I don't think I'm going to be remembering, like, oh, that the second or third episode WJSN stage. Like, we got to go watch that one again. Like It also might have been the song choice. Yeah, I, and, like, they didn't do bad. It just really – I agree. Like, like honestly, I know – they can be so much better. We harp on it too, but they honestly, with how they do their concepts, especially the early ones, they would have crushed doing something like Me Goose Says 2 or Love Whisper. Yeah. I Or Glass Bead. I just think that they can do better. Or why so. did they not do Magoo? I don't know. Or Bop Bop? Oh, that would have been that would have been fun. I, I don't know. I, I think that they have a lot of room to... like. Everybody could, listens knows who love WJSN. Yeah, but again... They're like my ultimate group right we're, now. We're not going to lie. And they are not performing up to the standards I that I think that I they should say, be performing at. Yeah, and I would maybe say... Maybe it's because a lot of the members are gone? Maybe. I don't know. You know, that could be it. I will say, too, from week one to this week, I think they did digress a little bit. I think they, they went, did, I think too. they went down. and it, was just, it wasn't it was really memorable. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. They didn't mess up. It didn't sound like crap, but it wasn't. And you really can memorable. also see on XC's face after every single performance she that they see. She knew it, too. She's literally thinking in her head, we should have done you can more. See it we could have done every more. Sing- You're right. That is where you know because every single time they show her, she sits a little more back and is a little more disgusted because she knows that they, what they she's done watching more. is better than them because yes. they could have done better. It wasn't like crap. It's not like, oh, they're so good. It's, it's like, not like, why did we not do It's not like a done. worried, like, what do we do? Trying to guard LeBron James, Cole. you're not like they're not like. Oh my gosh, we can't compete with this. It's oh my gosh, we can do better than what we did. Like because this is better, but we can step it up that much more. And that was you could see it in her eyes every single performance. Also, WJ sends one of those groups, or I'm not sure how much pull they have with fans anymore because it used to be really popular. With the obviously like when the Chinese members were there, they had yeah. a lot of popularity with that. But then they've been gone for a while. And then, like, arguably one of the most popular members in the group, Bona. Yeah. She's not there. I think Bona out there hurts. But, I mean, I think this showed that fans are still pulling them forward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they still, they, I, they, cause, everybody likes they them. got third place. Um, then it was, fourth place was Veeves, which. Yeah, they, they were totally, like, <laughs> kind of. Anywhere from, like, four on. I'm like, okay, sure. Or three, four my on. My thing with Veeves is, no doubt, they're all very good performers. Yeah. Very good, very talented, very good dancers. And you can tell they still had a lot of fans from when they were G-Friend. Oh, yeah. But I like this Unnatural performance just because, you know, I love Unnatural. Also, for anyone who hasn't listened to on Spotify, it sounds so much better on the recorded version. Did you talk about how you don't have those bass hits like talk- you want in the live version? Oh, do we, but, do we talk about it on the first? Well, you go ahead and say but what you say. But when you listen to it in the car, it sounds completely different. It's so good. It's awesome. I need to do that because we talked about it before again. Like, But I just – and this goes for everyone, not just – and like even for Highlands, even though hers was perfect. There's something about the audio of how we're getting it, uh, just how Dude. they kind of record it on the stage or because it's a live crowd. It doesn't – it's like so kind of all subdued and it doesn't like – there's not like an awesome hitting – Bass. Like bass. And it, I'm not saying these have to be crazy beats that are super techno, like build ups and all. No, it's but just. But I mean, we heard it we, when you re listened to like Girls Planet once. We, we listened to Girls Planet. We watched a few Girls Planet stages, and even on, you know, like some of those, you can just like kind of feel like the music. Like you can feel it in more. the speakers of my TV. <laughs> you can feel it. And it's not like it's, again, crazy, but this this is like so. Like everything's just kind of like blends together in like a meh. And I don't know. I The audio is just a little strange on this show to me. Oh. Uh, I agree with that, but what I was saying about Veeves is like they've got the popularity, they're good performers. I don't know if just the three of them and how they compose their music or what's going on, if they're gonna do anything that's gonna like wow me, like how other performances, like Highlands yeah. performance, or even like Brave Girls performance. I was like, oh, sick! Like you know, that's. But obviously, everyone has a different way they make their music. That's just how yeah. it is. You know, that's why people break up in groups, bands. They don't see yeah. eye to eye on how they want the sound, the music yeah. to sound. Everyone doesn't, you know. But the way that they mix the songs and perform the songs, like, even if so far, if you've taken every performance that's happened right now, I don't think their unnatural performance was better than half the songs or performances I've seen. Like, it's good. Yeah. But, like, in terms of all around, I'm just not, I wouldn't be like, oh, man, I'm going to go watch that performance again. Like, that was my favorite. Yeah, like, like, that's, no, yeah, I don't think so either. I, And I think for them, kind of like what you're saying is maybe just because we don't really know them as well, like, I'm not sure if they're playing it safe. 
I so then that might just be kind of how they are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like that's fundamentals. Just, just like they're just they're just like really good. And like kind of um, like WJSN, I when I watch them do their stuff, it kind of reminds me of like in a dunk contest. Yeah. When someone like has botched so many dunks, you just need a safe dunk so you get yeah. the win. That's, that's them. That's definitely what WJSN. Is like, doing. let's get a good performance out. We know we're gonna hit with the fans. The yeah, songs they like. We got fans. Let's just not get dead last. Like that's basically what's going on. That's what I feel like WJ Sin is doing 100. percent And but we need maybe, to see him go under the double legs over the mascot 360 yeah, windmill to need, try to get we the need win. Someone to channel their sung so front flip. Um, Seriously. But uh, yeah, Veeves is kind of hard to read right now because I feel like coming into the show, their opening thing you loved. It was sick. I will say this. I was gonna save it for later, but whatever. One of the biggest things I've learned from this is I I just like every Veeves is awesome. I like they're like one of my favorite groups coming like coming into like the last couple rounds of episodes here. I've even told you before like I'm yeah. like super into it. I love it. It's the best. But I don't know if it's like you said maybe that's just how they are. Maybe like that's how G Friends was known for having really good dancing and stuff. Yeah. But is having good enough dancing but not having the overall spectacle of a performance good I enough to want, like win the show? I just want this to be freaking. I want everyone. To crank it to 11 every time. They not, have to not be high. Not 11. Yeah, because she cranks it to 12. You're Like, she has gone so big. And I want everyone to go super big. And, like, I just I just haven't seen that from everyone. And, like, the bar is set by Highland. And then she just raised it again. And it's like, dude, you guys are going to get left behind so bad. You're already getting left behind. And I feel like V's was really sick in their opening video. And we're like, oh, okay. And then we really liked watching them. And we're like, okay, like, V's. Like, maybe this is, like, the up-and-coming... Well, not up-and-coming for other people, but for us, just because we didn't really like him before. But it was like, we're going to, you know, pay more attention, really get into him. And, like, we still might. But I feel like that kind of tailed off a little bit. Like, it kind the hype kind of fell just a little bit with the last... Kind of... Because it is. It was like, oh, you're like, oh, that was a fun performance. All right, that's the next one. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't... Like, I really was like, like... I was like, okay, Vives, like, maybe we're going to stand them. Like, okay. And then it just kind of... That hype just kind of like because like one thing I didn't really realize fell I guess a bit. I should have but I didn't was like Highlands got everything you need to have all around performances yeah being a great vocalist with a cool stage but not good dancing not gonna win it for you being great dancers with okay vocals or a subpar like somewhat okay stage presence with like you know the fireworks and background stuff not gonna win it for I you I think having an amazing stage with having subdued choreo. And good vocals, not going to win it for you. You have to have everything in order to win it. Yeah. And like I said, Veeves is known. Well, GFM is known for having great dancing. They're all really good singers. Their stage has been cool, but I just don't think it's there, like... There was nothing mind-blowing. There was nothing... I liked their stage the first time, the first day. Like, it was pretty cool. But this one... I like the concept a lot of this one. I did. But maybe they maybe they didn't really take a step back. They kind of just stayed equal for the playing yeah. field from, from last week. And I'm like, okay, you guys had a chance to wow me in a way that I'm going to be more into you or whatever. But maybe that didn't happen yet. I feel like they could have gone a little notch higher on this last performance. Yeah. Would have been amazing. Yeah. Because I, um, I really like, I will say. All like, the pieces were there for me. That would exactly, be my favorite stage. Exactly. <laughs> like the, the concept they picked. And the songs was cool. Like I liked the the concept and the dresses. Like I liked. I was like, this is different. You know what I mean? Like this is not a K-pop thing you see every day. It's not just like some you know concept that a million people do. Yeah. So the jury's kind of still out on them. I agree with what you're saying about them. Now fifth and sixth place. Made me realize two things. One, maybe people just really like Kepler. Which I mean, yeah, they. I hope they're on Girls Planet, so maybe that saved them, because they finished fifth, and we already talked about. We'll get into it again in a second for a little bit. Their performance was not good. I did not like anything about that. Nope. Which was dumb because sixth place was Brave Girls, mm-hmm. and everything they finished dead last and everything. This is the most undeserved last place finish I've ever seen of anything I, in my entire life. Let us know. Like Mnet must be like Brave Girls aunties, because this is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Let us know. In the comments, if we're the only two people on planet Earth or in this universe that like that, well, because we all the people in our chat, our group chat, they, they even like said it. Brave Girls did not deserve to finish last place. There's in no this. way. There's no way. They were one of my top three favorite performances. I would have definitely a hundred percent had them in third as my because it was really great, especially for their first week, maybe not being the best. They stepped, guess what? They stepped it up. They went bigger. They tried 
on a short different practice schedule too because yeah, they, they were all sick. And they, it wasn't just one person. It was like all of them. So they couldn't even practice as much. They stepped it up a ton of notches and put on a really great stage. And I don't know what people saw, but they just did not like, like it. Like, I feel bad for them. I felt horrible. Because they literally took what everybody said last week and cranked it up. They tried And made it harder. amazing. Mask, honestly, I wish that was just their song that they made. I will say that, that was, was like sick. A, that was like a perfect. That was the perfect song for them to cover, and they covered it in a really amazing. I way. I will say the choreo. Maybe it's just because how they are. You know, we've seen it in other videos that they've got. Not the best dancers in the world. I think in terms of technicality and doing crazy stuff. I think that for them, maybe that's why everyone's so hard on them because they're so hard on. Like they even said it the other weeks, but like, I think for them, they kind of took maybe their little bit of if they're like lacking. But they stepped it up in other places. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The yeah. vocals, great. Whole performance of the show, great. Stage, the great. The story was great. Everything, the outfits, great. great. The backup dancers, great. The the screens, the visuals. It was really good. There's literally nothing else that they could have done. Except no. maybe doing backflips or something crazy. To make them get a better stage than what yeah. they had when they did that. Yeah, I don't... I agree. And, and they did everything in their power they could to make a great stage to they, not finish and last, I, and they still finish last. They, I just don't understand. I don't get it either. And it's like, well, are they like, is this just how it's going to be for the show? Like, no matter what they do, because I thought it was incredible. I really loved. It, it was really for me those first, obviously Highland, Highland, and then that Luna stage. I will love for a long time. I really will. And then Brave Girls was really great. I'll go watch that stage again. It was those top three <laughs> and kind of. Everyone else, and then Kepler was last. Because, like, like, I honestly, like, I like the Luna stage too, but for me, I love the Brave Girls one. I said after we saw it, it I'm was like, so good. I'm like, the Brave Girls one is probably my second favorite. Well, it was my first until Highland came out and destroyed everybody. You but just like, like, couldn't deny that. Like, you just couldn't deny There's it. three, maybe arguably two, depending on who you are, of groups that could have finished lower than her or lower than them in the final rankings, and they still got dead last. <sighs> They I did mean, not deserve to get sixth place. No, not at all. And it really was honestly... I also listened to the song, like the Spotify version of it. Amazing. It's really frustrating. Like Brave Girls, come back with that as your comeback. Because you I just will... don't... You just like don't know what they... What they sh- like. You can't be like, oh, well, if they did this or did this. Because you don't even know. Because it was so good. I just don't even know what they could have done. That's what pisses me off. It was honestly frustrating because everyone's like, ah, Brave Girls was worth Brave Girls. Are you kidding me? Like, you got people falling off a stage. Like, I... And, like, I get that was an accident, but Brave Girls was good. And they made that song their own. They made it, like, mature and cool. And they're getting dead last. Like, what what are they supposed to I guess they are supposed to do, like, freaking Jeff Hardy back front flips off the top rope. Like, I just I, don't know. I don't know either. I thought they sang it really well. Like, their vocals were really good. And even they did a lot of more dancing in this. And then even the yeah. first stage, they did a lot of dancing because they wanted to show off their dancing skills. I, and if even if you look at the Highland stage was sick, but did she really do any more crazy dancing than what Brave Girls did in theirs? Yeah, it's not like she was uh, freaking like Lisa out here doing some crazy like laying on the ground, f- all this cr- dancing because she could. She's like holding the mic. And exactly. She's got her backup dancers in her heels. Like, so I don't know how anyone would even knock. Like, oh, they're not like you know they don't dance good enough. I was like, like I, just, I want enough. the people to like do these things and like put on a great show that I remember and Brave Girls put on a great show that I remember and then so, the one dancing part with their backup dancers where it was like lights oh, everywhere so sick. and the masks with like the X's and on them oh, freaking amazing oh, it was it was one of my I favorite just, it was I don't one know of my favorite stages on this. on this whole show so far but this was like the biggest most bogus last place it finish sucked. I've ever seen and in like, anything I, ever I don't know man it sucks because okay this is a bigger upset than when the girls from Idol school did step, even though they knew they were getting eliminated. Yeah, and that, then they put on a great show and got eliminated. I just don't... I don't really get it, man. It sucks. And I was, like, actually pissed about it because I thought there was definitely other groups that were below them. And that was, like... It wasn't even, like, a question. That's what no. it is. It was, like... It's not, like, um, you know, more or less they could get here. Okay, Brave Girls, they're better. Whatever. I was, like, this is for sure they are better than these other groups. And... No one, none of the people there saw that. I just don't get it. It has to just be a bias thing then of like who you like. Because if they're going to do that and put on such a good show and people are like, I'm not voting for you, they just have no hope. Well, it's like if we if we <laughs> voted ourselves, tell you right now, I would not have voted for either WGC or Kepler and my vote would either go to Brave Girls in Highland or uh, Highland. I, I Probably would, Highland I was amazing. I, if I had to vote for one, I would have voted for Highland, yeah, both times. 
I would not have voted for WJSN, Kepler, or Veeves for sure. I think they were definitely way far behind those other three stages. But I was like really happy for them after we watched it too because they did not have a great first stage. And the thing about them is we talked about they're you know kind of you know down on themselves because uh, you know they're very much veterans. So yeah. They're like oh like I don't know can we dance can we do this blah 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 like do we have this what it takes like they're kind of down on themselves in a way. So it's like okay like you root for them. But apparently other people just don't. Yeah, I And I, I was like, know. oh, like, way to go, girls. Like, you guys put on six At this point, honestly, show. it just feels like they're just put on there to get Yeah, I feel like they're just, like, the whipping boy. And it's like, they're just to take all the heat and then eventually just not, you know. not. I don't think anyone's going to get kicked off You ever heard of anybody getting bullied out of being a group? Because this is what's happening. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, I I don't know. It sucks. I just don't get it. It's like my biggest question. I just don't understand. Same. So, but when it came to the, I don't know. Lame. Like, are you kidding me, Highland? Like, you picked... I don't know why Highland picked him. Like, come on, man. That's bogus. Just pick... Veeves. Veeves. Yeah. Jeez. Just pick Veeves. I Just, why not? She, you know you have the ability to pick everyone since you know you're better than everyone. Exactly. Why are you picking Brave Girls? Come on. Why would you not just pick Brave Girls as being one above you just out of respect? Yeah, just give them something. They just need something. But yeah, that's the episode. It was a wild one. I got a lot of questions, personally. Um, ending thoughts from what I've learned so far from the first couple episodes is... Highland is unstoppable force. I don't see how she's ever going to lose. Yeah, I know, right? Luna seems pretty strong. Because, I mean, we so always knew they were a good group. But if, coming out of full force, they're you know, very creative. They're good. Yeah. Um, WJSN, you need to take chances. You need to really, you know, come out of your comfort zone and try to do something crazy. Veeves, just keep doing you because you're probably... Coming out of this episode, one of my higher groups on my list of favorite groups on the show because of Sin B and her uh, smirky, sarcastic face that she has. That it's like can't. killing me. You know what? She's my biggest bias record in this yeah. whole show is right now, Sin B. Um, Kepler, you need to do something because that performance is not good. Week one was good, but I just love Wada Da. If you would have done something else, I don't know how it would have worked out. But this last performance you just did, it's definitely not a good one. Brave Girls, there must be some antis out there because you do not deserve to be sixth place or last in any of the voting from any of the areas. So I don't know. Yeah, I I just don't get it. I don't know either. It was really disappointing. I'm trying to look up something real quick. But uh, I was going to say Highland is the best. I agree with everything you said. Luna, love the way they came into the show and made a really awesome impact because they didn't get to have week one. Yeah. So, um, but I'll, one thing I'd say about them is we'll see how they actually have multiple weeks of having to do something for real yeah. this time. So, we'll see how they do. But so proud and happy for them to do well in the first round. WJ Sen, I honestly feel like I'm the most disappointed in them so far just because I just feel like they're – like we said, they're not doing anything. And I don't know. They just, just need to coasting. do it. They just need to, yeah, they're just coasting. Like they're not trying at all. Like, I, I don't think Kepler's not trying. I feel like WJSN's not trying. And they can do better, and they will. I know it. Vs is very cool. I like Vs. I like as the long girls. as Sinbi just keeps like staying girls. angry, I'll... I'm, you know what's, like, I'll my like. biggest takeaway, though, now that we actually, like, like them and know, like, them a little bit? Is I can really just finally appreciate Wow Thing because uh, Cindy oh, yeah. was there. I was, For all of us who uh, listen to some of our old episodes, Cindy was, was always just one of those girls. I was like, always why so, is she here? I was always so mad about Wow Thing because it was literally <coughs> my favorite Solgi, one of my favorite like favorite people, Soyun, and then I loved Chung Ah so much then, and then Cindy was I was pissed. I was like, we could have got anyone else. Are you kidding me? But now I can like finally put that to rest and be like, okay, I I am complete now. That was like my biggest Vives takeaway. But no, they're really great, and I hope that they put out music after the show, and I think they will, because I think we're on the way to standing. Yeah. But I think they can do better too. There's a lot of a lot of emotions about V's right now. Good stuff, but I feel like they could. I feel like they can show as more. As long as Sinbi stays angry, I'm happy. I really like the member. I don't know. I can see why they were worldly popular in uh, G Friend, um, and then Kepler. Yeah, you guys are just not doing well. I don't know. You guys, you are the do youngest something. group, so I mean, maybe they're doing something they're, to do with it. Yeah, they're and half your groups like, don't understand maybe, what Korean words mean. 
Yeah, shouting, shouting has no idea what's going on. There's a whole like five minute segment of Young and explaining to Hikari what burnout means, and she just was not having it. That's why they they were they just gotta get focused on the right thing. I feel like they have to get focused on the right thing, and then maybe not take themselves as serious. Like, chill out, it'll be okay. But at the same time, do better. It doesn't really make sense, but because I don't think they're not trying. I think they're almost trying too, too much. Hard. Like, like guys, look, we're the rookies. We need to prove ourselves. Yeah, we need to like do something. you are proving yourself. Like, just don't. Sometimes don't overdo it. Just, just bring it back a little bit. Like, they're kind of like opposite of how I feel about WJ Sen right now. But yeah, they definitely need. No one needs a bigger comeback performance than Kepler right now because they they were not good, and I will die on that hill. I will never come around on a stage. It was horrible. I want to forget it. Um, and then Brave Girls. I'm so sorry. That's all I can say is I'm sorry. I. I don't. There's no way they're gonna get last again and lose. They've That's, been last two times. They technically, technically, yes, they have been last twice. It's just Luna had COVID, so they were last last. Yeah. Did so, you complete so, the dish? That's <laughs> what if they just lost to COVID Luna? And you're limited. There's no way they're gonna get them off the show. That is so bogus, especially because it's ten weeks long and we're just about to be halfway, right? Yeah. Like something like that. I do think. What is the next episode? They have to do like... Is it vocals and dancing or something? Kind of like how we watched the one videos from last year. Yeah. The last queen was have to like team up. So... And they do vocal stuff together, dancing stuff together. I think, I think that's going to help certain people. And oh. I think... We also discovered... Show some respect because Yuji's the only person who's been on both Queendom 1 and Queendom 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we found that after. Because, because for the last dance thing, for the team thing... Yep. Um, she got park Parked. Uh, she got <laughs> technically, ta- she yes. got tagged in by Park Bomb to dance for her because Park Bomb was in the first season like and like to. literally could hardly walk. So Yunji came in and danced for her. So yeah. yes, she has been in Queendom One and now she's on Queendom, Queendom Two. So that's the only person to do that. Like um, um, Sion um, is the only member to have time with all the members of Iowa oh, and, and, time, and yeah. members of that's, uh, that's Iowa. Really, that's really crazy. But um, <laughs> yeah, so. Next episode's going to mix it up a little bit. I think that's where we're going to see some people move up. Hopefully, Brave Girls. And I think my take is this is how we're going to see Hyland actually kind of, like, drop. Because she's, like, not that she's going to do bad, but I feel like if they're going to kind of incorporate group things, I feel like just somehow she's going to fall off a little bit. Because I also don't, honestly, at this point... The only thing I care about is I don't want Brave Girls to be last. I Yeah, no. I, I don't care about who no finishes way. the rest That'd of the rankings. That'd be ranking. so... I just want Brave Girls to be freaking fifth and, place. And there's not so much and ask. there's literally six groups, so they can just show three at a time each episode. So they're not going to just... Maybe the producer just has the like hates the Brave guy or whatever they're... They're going to bring in that planet pass and just, get him back. Dude, I don't know. I hope not. We'll find out in a few days, but... Let us know what you guys think in the comments. It was a good episode, though. I mean, I've really liked it. it so far, for the people a, we've talked to, they kind of agree with what we said, too. Yeah. So, I feel like most people kind of do. Let us know if you guys also agree, because I'm livid about this. I just don't understand the Brave Girls thing. It's the most frustrating part. Um, but I think there's a lot that the groups are still going to show us, and we're going to get into some cool mashup unit type things coming up. So we'll see. How, they're like in they're looking like a mansion in this <laughs> next one. It looks like they're going to some summer mansion True. or something. So, so it should be pretty that cool. That should be pretty fun. Also, but, uh, shout out to that last ending segment of... Uh, V, oh, that with Sin being you know, because that like hilarious. if I didn't like them before, I liked them now because I was awesome. All you have to watch is that, and you're like, you know what? These girls are sick. Love them. That was awesome. Was so funny. I actually like V so much now that I just want to go back and uh, stand debut G friend and see where that goes, even though they're not a group. You could. Hopefully, they're not broken up yet, so I can really just fall yeah. Can they still technically group. like come back as G friend? <clears throat> so, but yeah, that does it for this week. I uh, wish we had the episode out earlier, but, you know, technical difficulties. But, I mean, it's okay. I feel like we almost did better this time, too. True. So. A lot more insight. Uh, yeah. That does it for episode four. Yep. We're, we're, already episode flying, four. we're already flying along. Next week will be about halfway. Dude, so. this is actually episode 129 for us. That's crazy. It's a lot of episodes. We got some very fun events coming up, too. So We, also, we do. That, along with Girls Planet, we're going to have a... We're heading into a good K-pop summer, so... Queendom uh, 2, not Girls Planet, sorry. I always call it I Girls always Planet. I always call it Girls Planet. I did, I'll forever be the best thing ever to happen to me in my life. So I think about it all the time. It's the best. It watches the stages all the time. It's, I hope, I don't know, nothing really can pass that. But until then, we'll catch you guys next week. I'm JT's Fog Rob. We love you guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.
this is how we do. Yeah, this is how they do. Eugene, the place to be. I get breakers.